Hi, my name is Michael Colton, and this is the Portable SDR. It's a pocket-sized, two-way, shortwave radio. The Portable SDR gets its name from the fact that it's a software-defined radio. What that means is that most of its functions are handled in software instead of with dedicated electronics. The reason this is important is it makes it upgradable and flexible. To give you an example, the Weather Service broadcasts weather images that would be really helpful for backpackers, but if your radio isn't designed to receive them, then there's no way it will ever be able to. The portable SDR, on the other hand, is more like a computer or a smartphone. It can load new software that gives it new capabilities. That makes it a radio that can evolve and improve over time. Then there's a portable SDR, software defined radio. I really like this. You know, if you watch the video, you see that this is designed for the uh, HF bands, uh, 0 to 30 megahertz, which is traditionally the home of uh, ham radio operators. I mean, hams can operate on much higher frequencies, but HF is where this stuff really started. And for me, that's the only place I use my ham license. As a matter of fact, the radio that I have, which is this Yesu shown in the picture here, is a fairly bulky, heavy thing. It requires, in transmit mode, a, a full car battery to operate the thing. I mean, it draws over 20 amps. I only use it when we're at sea on our sailboat for connecting to uh, shore. With the, uh, this miniature SDR though, you could put a complete ham station in your pocket. This project is also kind of interesting because it takes the idea of connectivity to um, a lower level. This is actually like a connectivity device. It's meant for connecting people together. Um, it's a software defined radio and so you can use it for you know, voice or data communications. Um, some things that I really loved about this is um, I really like it when people take ham radio technology and kind of bring it into the maker movement. These are, these are two movements that are a little separate and I really think it's neat that you know this person had a lot of interest in radio and ham radio and th usually you know the maker groups and the SDR ham radio groups aren't is connected but now they're starting to join up a little bit more and so this is a nice mix of you know it's got a display and it's got this beautiful um, enclosure that was machined out of like a solid chunk of metal, um, a nice case and there's software and there's an interface and what I also like about this is that you can tell from the video tutorial is that um, the, the creator of this project wants to use this project on a daily basis. This is, this is something that he created because he wanted to use this and he wants his friends to use it. So it definitely has a lot of heart in it and I can tell that this is like a labor of love. Software Defined Radio has been hot for a couple years now and the portable SDR is the most complete and integrated device I've seen. Michael designed the portable SDR to use himself in remote areas for weather, news, or even emergency rescue operations. But what he found is that other people liked it too. That's my favorite kind of open hardware project. I think it really embodies the sense of sharing in the open hardware community. The portable SDR transmits as well as receives, and that gives people an incentive to get a ham radio license besides the bulky tubes and mattress spring antennas that were used in the past. Yeah, okay.